In this video, let us discuss about System Verilog Test Bench Architecture. So before that, what is the purpose of Test Bench? A Test Bench allows us to verify the functionality of design through simulations. It is a container where the design is placed and driven with different input stimulus. So what is the purpose of Test Bench? So it actually generates the stimulus apply the stimulus to the DUT, capture the response, check the correctness, measure the progress against the overall verification goals. So the test bench or the verification environment is a group of classes or components. So where each component is performing a specific operation like a generator generating stimulus driver driving that stimulus or monitor monitoring and those classes will be named based on that operation. So here we have generator which generates the stimulus, driver will drive the stimulus, monitor will monitor the output and scoreboard will compare the reference model and the DOT. So this is the test bench architecture where we have generate various verification components like generator, driver, scoreboard, monitor. We have data transaction. So here, what does the generator do? So generator will generate different input stimulus to be driven to DOT. The generator is a verification component. So it is a verification component that can create valid data transaction. This is the data transaction and send them to the driver. So this generator will send the data transaction to the driver. This is valid data transaction. So the driver can then simply drive the data provided to it by the generator through the interface. So the, this driver will send the data to the DUT through this interface. So the data transactions are implemented as class object. This data transaction are implemented as class object. It is the job of the driver to get the data object and translate it into something the DOT can understand. So what mainly the driver does is, the driver is also a verification component. It does the activities, pin activities of the DOT. So it does the pin activities of the DOT through the task defined in this interface. So when the driver has to drive some input values to the design, it simply has to call the predefined task in the interface without actually knowing the timing relation between those signals. So the timing information is defined inside the task provided by the interface. So even if in the future, if the interface is changed, then the new driver can call the same task and drive signals in different way. So next is about interface. So if the design contained 100 of port signals, so like 100 port signals, it would be complicated to connect all the 100 port signals and it will be difficult to maintain and reuse those signals. So instead, we can place all the design input and output ports into the container which becomes an uh, interface to the DOT. So this interface is nothing but a container which, be, uh, which has all this uh, input and output ports. So the design can then be driven with the values through this interface. So next comes the DOT. DOT is nothing but uh, design under test. So uh, it is uh, it is the hardware design written in Verilog. So it is written in Verilog. So DUT is term typically used in post uh, validation of silicon once the chip is fabricated. So next we will see another verification component that is monitor. So monitor uh, uh, the DUT processes the input data and sends the result 
So this DUT processes the input data and sends the results to the output pin. This monitor will picks up the process data, converts it into data objects and sends it. So it will convert, this monitor will convert it into data object and sends it to scoreboard. So next come the purpose of scoreboard is uh, it compares the reference model and the DUT. So scoreboard will have a reference model can have a reference that behaves the same way as DUT. This model reflects the expected behavior of DUT. So this model will reflect the expected uh, behavior of DUT. Input sent to the DUT is also sent to the reference model. So if the DUT has a functional problem, then the output from the DUT will not match the output from the reference model. So comparison of output from the designs and the reference model will tell as if there is a functional uh, defect in the design. So scoreboard will do all this work. So next is environment. Environment contains all the verification components like generator, driver, scoreboard, monitor. So it, it makes the verification more flexible and scalable because more components can be plugged in to the same environment in the future project. So next is about the test. So test contains, uh, the test contains the environment that can be tweaked with different configuration settings. So another top module will be there. That is test bench top module. So this is the top module. So top module, it is the topmost file which connects the DUT and test bench. So this top module will connect both the DUT and the test bench. So we, we can see briefly some of the components. So these are the components of the test bench. So here we have a generator. So generator uh, generates the input stimulus to be driven to DUT. So driver drives the generated stimulus to the design. So this interface contains design signal that can be driven or monitored. So monitor monitors the design input output ports to capture the design activity. Scoreboard checks the output from design with expected behavior. It compares the reference model and the DUT. So if there is any mismatch then the function there is a defect in the functionality. So environment contains all the verification components like scoreboard, monitor, driver, generator. Test contains the environment that can be tweaked with uh, different configuration settings. So this is briefly about the components of the test bench and the system verilog test bench architecture.